Today I'm going to show you how to install and use uh, the CMS software for your ION in VR. Um, first what you want to do is go to My Computer once you've ins uh, inserted the CD that came with your NVR. Okay, um, open it up and you'll see the ION NVR and Guides. And then you'll see the general CMS tool. Um, open that application and that will prompt you to just go ahead and install the application. Um, I have a pop-up, uh, just select English, just click Next. You can select a different file, but just click Next and Next. And it's going to install the software right there. Uh, just click Finish, uh, select your language. Um, English is what I'm going to choose. And then by default, there's no password uh, unless you set one uh, later down the road, which you are more than welcome to do so. Just be sure and put it in there um, for future reference. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Um, as you can see, um, you can maximize the screen. I have a few things in here. I'm going to go ahead and delete out of there so I can show you what it's like to add everything. Uh, so I'm going to go into Device Manager here and just delete all this real quick. Okay, with it all empty, now the first thing you have to do is you have to add an area. Um, it'll call it a zone. Um, you can call it home if it's your house. If it's a work location, you can call it work. Um, for for ours, I'm going to call ours Nellie's. And this is for our ION. Just click OK there. Now select Nellie's or your name. And then now you can add the device. Um, and we're going to add the NVR now. You just go to IP search if it's plugged in on the network and everything. Um, if you know it, but if you know it, you can in manually enter uh, the IP address. I'm going to find ours. I know ours is 1.24. Now, If you've added a password onto your NVR, um, then you'll have to put it down there in the password blank right here. Um, but if you did not add a password by default on these NVRs, there is not a password. So from here, you can go ahead and just click OK and get out of that. In the upper left-hand corner, it should appear with your IP address. You can double-click that and you'll see all your cameras. On mine, I only have two cameras um, installed, and so you can just drag and drop. So I'm just gonna drag them both and drop. You see that green line that's around that frame right there? Um, that's just showing you that that frame's the one that's selected. Um, so you can actually double click the cameras, and if that green frame's around one of those, that's where the camera will go. Um, but you can double click on the screen once they're on there, and it'll maximize the screen and show you the entire thing. Show you on the first camera as well. All right. Now what I'm going to show you is playback options on this uh, software. Uh, what you'll do is you'll select your device, which is the ION NVR, and select what camera you want to view the playback option on. I'm going to select camera two for now. I'll show you camera one in just a moment. And then the time frame, when you want to begin and end, um, it's already selected for me of when I've recorded. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click that. And you'll see a fire that pops up at the bottom. And as you can see, double click that and the screen pops up. Um, now you can search and find, try to find some moving objects here. There's a car. Go ahead and pause it for you. So it's really cool software as you can fast forward. I mean, you can pause, go back a little bit if you'd like and, and find it. Um, and here in a minute, I'll actually show you how you can actually download a file uh, onto your computer to save and, and email or, or whatever the case may be for whatever you need it to be. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually play back on a specific time. Um, you just hit the by time instead, select your camera, camera one, add, and I do the synchronization, um, so it kind of syncs up both cameras, and just you hit search down there, and it'll find um, the time that you've recorded um, in the last 24 hours. So um, then you can just go down, it's got the minute bar there at the top, and it's got the hour bar there on the bottom. So you can select between, you know, say 7 and 8 or 8 and 9, and then select um, down to the minute uh, of what you want to record. Uh, really cool features, uh, just because, you know, you can narrow down if you think something happened between a, a certain time, uh, then it's pretty easy to narrow down what that is. So uh, let's see if we can find some movement here. and. 
<clears throat> here we go. So, and then you can fast forward, uh, slow down. You can do slow mo with these options as well. It's the same kind of thing. You're just doing it by time instead of kind of just finding it. Now, I want to show you how to download um, a file. Just click download and it'll ask you to select one. And don't just highlight it, that won't select it. You got to check the box there on the far left, bottom of the number one. So just check that box, hit download. Um, it'll give you the record type option AVI or H264. And you can browse for a file or a folder you want to save it to. Just select that and then just hit OK. Uh, I'm not going to do it. There's just nothing I need to save, but it's really easy. It'll save it to a file. So X out of there. Now what I'm going to show you is I'll actually show you how you can add uh, different devices to this um, CMS software. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it'll support uh, other iServe products that we offer as well. I'm going to show you our hybrid. Um, we'll call it an iServe hybrid. So go ahead and hit OK and select the name, add a device, and we'll do an IP search real quick. Find the IP address for it. There it is right there. Now this one has a password, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that password real quick and click OK. And as you can see, uh, it's popped up there, so we'll hit OK. Double click on it to log into it. Should connect successfully. And as you can see, there's 32 cameras here. So I mean, I can drag and drop uh, any of these cameras on here, and you can I can put all 32 on there if I wanted to, or I can just select a few to put on there. Um, uh, one cool feature um, now the Ion does not support PTZ controls, but if you have an NVR DVR that does, um, I know I, our iServe hybrid um, will support the PTZ controls, as you can see, and you can actually move the camera around. Uh, zoom in, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool features there. And I'll go ahead and back out of that. 